Hello, everyone. My name is Stephen Pope, and welcome to New Pantheon Academia, your anime-inspired role-playing show inspired by, well, not inspired by, but powered by Overarms, available now at Drive Through RPG. I'll be your uh, grandmaster, storyteller, GM, best friend, stream daddy, whatever you want to call me this week. And let's go ahead and meet our players, starting with, in the name of the moon, they will punish you, Eric. Hi, everybody. My name's Eric, and I'm playing Lennox Thatcher, who is the football player, uh, responsible person who has the Ninkasa, the Sumerian goddess of beer, and, and <laughs> living with inside of him. You'll love to see it. Uh, their quirk is being better than you. Aki! Oh, <laughs> that is a lot to put on me. I don't know about all that. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I am Aki. Uh, I play Manny Brown, who has uh, whose divinity is Ma'at, the Egyptian goddess of truth, justice, and harmony. And if anybody is going to, in the name of Moon, punish you, it would be moi. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm ready to get going. This should be fun. It's going to be a weird one this week. Um, continuing, continuing on. They made a contract with a little cat creature, and boy, do we all regret it. It's Kelly Nugent. I'm so glad that my name was the one that came up, because I do think that if a cute little cat creature encountered me and offered me to make a wish, I would be like, well, my wish is that you are by my side always. And now I'm trapped in this in this time loop contract. It's me, Kelly Nugent. Um, I, I'm playing Iris Snow. Uh, she is terrified of everything. Um, and getting better her, about that. Huh? She's kind of getting better about that. She is, yeah, yeah. Still scared, but pushing through it. Pushing through it. I think it helps, you know, her friends are helpful. Um, her Oh, I keep wanting to say anima. What are we using this game? Divinity. Divinity, thank you. Her divinity, divinity is the goddess of the beginning and end and death and infinity and uh, pretty much everything. Kali. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, glad to have them back after a week of being sick. Their Bankai is bigger than yours. R.I.P. Mika. <laughs> I'm so sick. Um, like, whatever. <laughs> I, I'm Mika. I am playing the wonderful, uh, innocent, and absolutely super positive Dahlia Wingrove, whose divinity is the innocent, incredibly wonderful, and positive Persephone. Yes. We all love Persephone. It's hard not to. She is the best. Now, Last week, we had a bit of an interesting one where we met a new Divinity user uh, who is now your inside woman for the school council who's getting a little suspicious on why do things keep blowing up this year at school? Um, we also found out that Loki, that lovable little mischief maker, seems to be being a triple agent, double agent, quadruple agent, maybe. Who knows at this point? But they made a hole in the key room, and now keys are escaping. So that's fun. Yeah, that's to deal with. This week at North Point Academy is Parents Weekend. Parents from all over the world are flying into the small town of North Point, Oregon, to visit their children. And Iris, you got a lovely letter in the mail today. Oh. Is it long? Um, it is not, actually. It's a postcard. It's a funny oh. postcard. From, uh, it looks like Phuket, Thailand. Is it? Is it a picture of a, of, of a scantily clad woman and it says, wish you were her? It, <laughs> okay, you know what? You know what, Eric? I've been watching <laughs> The Simpsons, too. Okay, so then Iris looks at it and she's like, me too. <laughs> Yes, um, your father has written the note. Ha ha, just kidding. Hope all is well. Uh, Victor and uh, Lorraine Snow. 
of course, they put their last names and their right. first names, and they don't sign it mom and dad. Seem like nice people. Okay, um, I'll just, I'll just put this with the others, and she's just gonna put it in like a. Where is she? Is she in her room right now? Um, yeah, we'll so go ahead and say you're in your room. Mail gets delivered straight to you because you probably bribed the guy who does the mail here at uh, the Galana dorms. Okay. Um, it's just going to be uh, a, one of those little file cabinets. She'll open it and there's a thing that says like, correspond- there's one folder in there that says correspondence. And then inside that one folder, I'm sorry, what are their names again? Uh, Victor and Lorraine. Okay. Inside that, it there's another folder that says Victor and Lorraine, parentheses snow. And then mm-hmm. she, she puts it in there. Yes. Uh, now, Iris, I have to ask, how do you respond to having Orpheus the rabbit in your room? Oh, he, Orpheus is with me? Well, how would you react if he was? Badly. Yeah. Like, how about we talking here? Like, you've roped off your bathroom, maybe you put him in a plastic bag. Um... I think that there's like, uh, there's been a schedule created for like when each part of the room is going to be used by each person. <laughs> and like, um, it's been separated into quadrants. Like the, the room has been separated into quadrants of um, 18. 18. Um, yeah. And so it's like, you before you you go into a different quadrant, you have to like reserve it on the form, like quadrants, like one through 10, I'm gonna be in there from, in 15 minute increments. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's the hope. That's the hope. And he's trying so hard with these forms. He just doesn't have opposable thumbs. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Why do Dahlia's parents have to be in town? Well, because it's parent teacher day. You really lucked out that my parents don't, um, that they wrote a letter. Yeah, um, you okay? I'm fine. I feel so good. I'm gonna you're go doing that thing again where you're smiling with the mouth, but your eyes are uh, saying, kill me. Um, it's. Thursday. Yeah, it it is. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, uh, listen, I tried to fill this out in triplicate as you requested, but I will need to use sector uh, 14A to uh, eventually brush my teeth. Okay. Um, You have to keep the carbon copy for yourself. Oh. Rip. Okay. Yeah. Thank okay. You. And then um, just make sure that you sign out after you're gone because um, the last couple of times you left the quadrants, you didn't sign out. And I was like, who's in there? He looks around the one bedroom dorm room. Uh, Iris, who else could it be? Kali doesn't have a tangible form. I'm. Can you imagine if three of us were trying to fit in this space? I'm pretty sure most high schools and college dorms would expect that. They would? Yeah. Yeah, no, no. They're they're usually like, actually, you have a really big room for a dorm room. It's probably a lot smaller than this and expect like three or four people. Well, I guess I should be thankful that, um, that, what are, what are her parents' names? I need to write this down. Victor and Lorraine. I picked the bougiest names I could think of. Okay. Well, I guess I'm lucky that that Victor and Lorraine um, are going to be, you know, if I go to college, they'll be able to afford to get me a single. They'll pay anything to keep me there. <laughs> yeah, you want to go uh, bother, bother Lenny? I don't think his parents are here either. Oh, okay. Um, I have to fill out the form so that I can go to the door. Okay. Yeah, just just make sure you dot everything, and, and you forgot you you always forget to put your initials at the bottom. It's very important you put the initials at the bottom, Iris. Oh, wow, the teacher has become the student. <laughs> okay, I'll remember to, to to initial the bottom. That was a good catch, Orpheus. This is going to be a long seventy-two hours. 
So we cut out to the quad. They've set it up to show off some of the sculptures and artwork that students have been making. Uh, the cheer team is showing off. There's going to be some, you know, meetings and all sorts of things going on. And that's where we find you, uh, Manny, and you, Dahlia, with your parents. Uh, if you want to go ahead and describe them. If you don't want to, I will take care of that, but. Um, I would say that Manny's mom looks a lot like Manny. Uh, deep, deep brown olive skin and long, like gorgeous wavy hair and big brown eyes. Um, very, very petite woman, um, kind of willowy in, in a build and like very smartly dressed, um, uh, wears um, kind of like uh, smartly dressed, but like is very covered up. Like uh, um, Manny comes from a Muslim family, um, but like not like devoutly Muslim. Mm. So like her hair isn't covered or anything like that, but like she still keeps fairly like covered up uh, the way she dresses and not, nothing too form fitting, kind of loose, uh, uh, stuff. Um, father is a taller, uh, also darkly skinned man with like slick black hair that like is like kind of combed back. Um, uh, a very tidily trimmed beard uh, and a nice sort of uh, charcoal gray uh, um, get up. Uh, not too bougie, but like still very, uh, still very nice. Um, like uh, they are, they are definitely very affluent looking. Uh, dad wears glasses. Uh, mom, mom doesn't. Um, they, they, they have a very kind of warm kind of, but they do look, uh, dad looks slightly uncomfortable in the suit. Yeah. Uh, uh Dahlia, you're, I'm just, Oh, my parents, oh, go for it. they're artsy types. Um, uh. the mom is very short, wears sundresses and like has glasses with the little beaded chain around her neck, big, big, bushy, curly hair. Um, she has like paint smeared on the front of her dress as if she used it for a smock. And you can also see that there's like dried clay on the bottom hem of it as well. Um, she does crafts all the time. And her dad, Dorian, her mom's name is Edith. Her dad's name is Dorian. Her dad Dorian. is very uh, sweater vest. He's got the untucked uh, button up underneath it. And uh, he just looks very like the educational type of parent. He's got salt and pepper gray hair, doesn't wear glasses, but he like always stands around with his hand tucked into his pocket wearing like nice dress slacks. And uh, he's a like house musician. He plays in a little house band around their, their hometown. Nice, he's nice. much taller. Uh, your parents are hitting it off swimmingly. Uh, there's that lovely energy of, oh, your child's artsy, we're artsy kind of. Uh, oh, you're friends with our kid. Oh, your kid is friends with our kids, thank God. Um, it's very parental. But the two of you are finally together for the first time since uh, Dahlia got sick. And, oh God, Dahlia, it was bad. You couldn't talk. There was sneezing. There was a fainting couch. Woe is me. It was, it was the it, worst. It was the winter of my discontent. <sighs> Uh, yes. So, um, by the way, real quick, we have unlocked our first tier. Rerolls for the table. Five rerolls for all of you. Yay! Yes. Uh, Manny, why don't you go ahead and give me a social roll? Uh, same with you, Dahlia, to see how well your parents are getting along with you. Okay. What would that be? A charisma? Charisma. Cool. I have some of that. I rolled an eight. Very good. What you got, Mika? I rolled in a three. 
Oh. <laughs> so, Dahlia, your dad starts. What's this about the theater being on fire? Oh my gosh, typical, like, I don't want to say the M word right here, but you know the one I'm talking about. It's just bad luck all around. Everyone was there, everyone was screaming, but luckily we were able to get the fire out and I did a fantastic monologue. You know the one that I always practice at home, Dad? Yeah, I, I did I, that. I, I, okay, great. Standing ovation. Great, you know but um, what's this about a fire and a student fell and there was something, I heard one of the parents talking about a uh, grave robbery. What? Are you concerned that there are strange things happening around here? Is is that the vibe I am getting? Oh, oh yes. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, emancipation, Manny. Um... Manny's fine. Okay, uh, Manny. My immersion. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're just uh, we're just a little concerned because uh, you know we're you know you special no, little girl. You have no reason to be worried. Everything is fine. And besides, you can't exactly guarantee that weird things wouldn't happen at any other school. I mean, have you seen where we live? Have you seen the state of things out there? Crazy stuff happening exactly. all the time. And at least at least here with her friends uh, that she knows really well and cares about and who care about her, she's safe. Exactly. At least it wasn't like Spider-Man on Broadway and nobody got like killed or like viciously maimed so we're fine your your mom does a little when you mention spider-man on broadway dahlia i we, do the same we thing as her dahlia we agreed we don't talk about turn off the dark i'm None of this sorry house. but dad is kind of insulting the theater program here and i just have to bring it up I, I'm not insulting it. It's a good theater program. I mean, it's not as good as the band department, but- Your it, daughter it, is also brilliant. I'm fairly certain that she's going to get the lead in this next production. You wouldn't want to take her out of school for that now, would you? She's worked so hard. Uh, Aki, why don't you give me a charisma roll real fast? <laughs> uh, I'm going to re-roll. I'm just okay. going to use it right off the top. Why not? All right, we're down to four. <laughs> well, that's slightly better. Six. Uh, Dorian softens and looks over to uh, Aki. What you name? What is? What are the names of Emancipation's parents again? Joseph and Karima. Joseph and Karima. Good names. He looks over Joseph. Uh, you got a good kid here. You got a really good kid here. And Joseph is just over the goddamn moon. Oh, thank God. They're, they're, little baby's okay. Little baby is okay here. Dad, I'm hungry. Oh, yes, yes, food, food. Uh, let's go get some food. Uh, looks like, uh, ah, yes, the Funageddon's amusing cats and the SF giant 49ers are all... Uh, Serving barbecue over there. Let's go get some barbecue. Do you, do you guys eat meat? We eat meat. Well, sometimes. Cer certainly. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Great. Great. Great, great, great. And as these awkward little meetings go and conversations continue, we move over to that Lennox Thatcher's dorm room. Lennox, uh, dad's not here. Yeah, no. Stepmom, not here either. Yeah, that'd be awkward for Deborah to show up. Yeah. Yeah, it's just kind of uh, been a bit quiet in your room, in your dorm, everything. No phone calls, no text messages. And that's about the, t and as you're, you know, enjoying the silence or maybe wallowing in that pit of despair that comes from a disappointing parent. Uh, open up, open up, come on. Uh, hello? 
Uh, down here. Hey, it's Orpheus. Hey. Uh, hey. Hey, what? what's up? I brought Iris. Oh, sick. Yeah, no. Um, I figured since uh, I'm a sentient rabbit and your parents are... Not uh, Busy. available today? Yeah. Yes. Yes, that. That. I figured the three of us could figure out something to do today. Oh, okay. I mean, I was going to just sit in silence on my bed because uh, I had a lot of free time, but uh, I guess I could do something. Well, yeah, I have a but... variety of drills we could do. Oh, sick. Uh, what, what are we thinking? We're thinking like a, like, is it like a two a day thing? Or are we doing uh, touchbacks? We uh... Oh, boy's choice. I was thinking you could choose anything from a variety of natural disasters. Oh. Oh, those guys. Okay, I thought we yeah. were looking like. Can't you guys play video games or something? Oh no, I, I strain. This this can't. <sighs> you need to limit your screen time. Don't you know that? That's why I walk around every hour. Yeah. You don't and, have and a screen in your room. Most of exactly, but what if I were to see one? Most of the games I play aren't multiplayer because I don't like the cult culture around most of multiplayer titles. Toxic. Mm. Okay, you don't eat. Wait, since when do you know about multiplayer games? I've read about all the dangers of multiplayer games. Yeah. Huh. A lot of white supremacist groups use them as a recruiting tool for young impressionable boys. Wait, for real? Yeah. Holy crap. Uh, anyway, anyway. Well, we got some time to burn. Lenny, you got any questions for me, maybe? Um, about what? <laughs> he motions to the giant sentient jar and the monkey king you share a room with. I don't know. Jenny, you have questions? He turns it up. <laughs> I mean, I think I understand it pretty pretty much. Like, uh, it, it, all gods are real except uh, Phantom Queen turned them into keys. And, and then we got some of them so that they're, they're part of us. They got to live through us because they can't be on their own yet. Okay. It, it makes a lot of sense, really. All right. Um, I was just, honestly, I've been feeling a little bad about everything forever uh but uh okay cool why cool. you didn't turn them into keys no unless, unless you did no i'm not i'm not capable of that huh i've just been feeling bad because uh since i showed up things have gotten kind of weird for y'all so i learned that i, I learned that word from manny yeah, all like you all. Yeah, I understood. I understood yeah. what you were. Even if I didn't hear it before, the context would have helped me explain it. But thanks for, for pointing it out, just in case. And it sounds like what it is, you know. Uh huh. Y'all, you all. Yeah. You can kind of put the. It's like the word porch light. You know what that is, even if you don't know what it is. You know. Oh yeah, I never thought yeah. about that. No, yeah, that's a very valid point. Now I yeah so um cool. Cool, 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 cool. Let's go back to running disaster drills or whatever you wanted to do, I guess. All right. Will I need my pads for this or? Well, if we were to do a flood drill, then yes. Um, oh. I think you would be hindered during a fire drill, to be honest. Honestly, I'm, I feel I would be hindered through most natural disasters because because the padding is not... I, it, it's not as robust as you would think. And I feel like in water would actually drag me down. Have you heard from your dad at all today? Uh, no. Why? I was just asking. Not no. even, not even a letter. Not even. What about correspondence from that woman that you act like is your mother, Susan? Oh, Susan. Uh, I, I wasn't sure on the name. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, that's my that's my dad's personal assistant. Uh, oh. but it's not like my birthday or anything, so I don't know why she would reach out to me. And it's at that point you have a visitor at your door. Uh, Xander, Popular today. <laughs> yes, Xander Carlisle, 
member of the drama club, short, kind of chubby, and also you're new, uh, the me- another member of the school safety squad. Oh. He does so- not look like he wants to be there. Yeah. Hi, Lennox. Um, my mom sent me up here to see if you wanted to grab lunch. Oh. Yeah. Like, huh? My mom is your... My mom is your dad's secretary. Oh, yeah. Oh, Carlisle, last, same last... I never put really? that together. Wow, okay, yeah. Great, yeah. I love your company. Oh, I like spending time with you, too. Okay, yeah, so anyway, we're going to Denny's if you would like to join us. Um, hey, oh. Iris. Uh, can I bring Iris too? Like I, I'll, I'll pay. I'll pay her way if it's like a problem or nothing. I don't want to be like, make it difficult. Sure. Why not? To go to the. De- yeah, you want to go to Denny's? Um, it. Oh, <laughs> it's up. Uh, it's not on the can. It's not on the um. It's not on the campus. It's. Nope. No. Okay, can you give me guys, can you guys give me like 47 minutes to get ready? I mean, I, I'm okay with that. I'll let my mom know. Oh, tight. Thanks, bro. Yeah. He kind of retracts when you call him that. So he heads to the elevator. Yeah, great. With that, he heads on down, and Orpheus goes from being a rabbit to being your rabbit. Uh, oh, I should have asked if I were taking their car or my car. I, I don't think... I, I, you really don't understand the idea of walking in this town, do you? But uh, more to the point, um, you know that kid? Yeah, that's Sander. Huh. I mean, he hangs out with Dahlia sometimes, so I just, uh... Yeah, he, he's like heck in the theater and stuff. Yep. Kind of a grouch, but all right, work. Okay, well, you two are taken care of. My guilt is alleviated. Woo! And I filled out the right forms. I'm going to be in the bathroom. That's where I had to go. <laughs> well, fine, I'll just go... <sighs> You know it's what? It's okay. You can go to the go bathroom. To... I can. There's others on the floor. I'm just saying, what life? You know, when it rains, it pours. I have to go to Denny's, and now the bathroom's used. Dahlia, I'm sorry, not Dahlia. Iris. You wow, just... high praise. <laughs> oh, uh. Iris, you just you just implied you were going to use a public restroom. Oh, I meant I was going to walk all the way back to my dorm and use my restroom. Oh, okay. I mean, I. I also have one. If if it's like it helps, I offer it to whoever needs it. I guess. Yeah, sure. As Orpheus toddles away, he can't help but wonder what Dahlia is up to because he misses normalcy. And we cut back outside. Uh, Manny, you are having an impromptu picnic with your parents. Uh, they got some, they managed to find some ve- vegan options at the barbecue and they're quite happy. Uh, mm, that Zarfin and uh, what, what was his name? Evil Dice Monkey? Weird names of the school, Emancipation. Uh, no, they're, they're good. The culinary club here is good, they're good. Yeah, all of the clubs here are pretty cool. Hmm. And, but the pep uh, club is the best one. I got to dance. Oh, oh, that's great. Well, that's wonderful. I, I, I almost got to dance. And then the theater burned down. Oh, oh okay. Well, well, well it was but nice. I, to... I got to practice the dance. That's good. That's good, sweetheart. Um... And you're, uh, 
ha, ha, you're going to classes? Classes are good? Mm -hmm. Classes are fine. Studying is... <sighs> but um, when was the last time I studied? Uh, you know, sweetheart, we can, we can still hire you that tutor out here if you, if you need or... No, if I need help, I'll just ask Iris or Lenny, smarter than he looks. Uh, okay, that, that's good. That's good. Um, so, uh, um, Carmina, do you have something to say to our son? Uh, child, not son. Uh, so, uh, we're, we're just, honey, we, we were wondering, uh, have you been distracted from your grades this semester? No. I mean, I'm I'm trying really hard. Everything everything's a little bit like difficult sometimes. Um uh I mean, I've never I mean I'm getting help and and like all of the teachers are 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 really nice. Um, and I study when I have the chance to study, um, tests are tests. Um, why, why do you ask? Uh, um, we're just, uh, you know, we know this is kind of difficult and we know, you know we know public school didn't work out as well as, you know, we would have liked and we're just, you know, we're concerned, honey. We want to make sure you're doing well. Well, I mean, I have, I have friends here. And that's great. That's, honey, that's wonderful to hear. And we're so proud of you. We're so happy. It's just, we just want to make sure you're going to be, you know, okay after high school, you know, and when if your friends have to move or Ma'at appears behind you. Would you like me to make them speak the truth, child? I think they should be allowed to come to that uh, realization on their own. They're either going to use their words or they're not. I can make them use their words. That doesn't seem very fair. I don't care about fair. That's a lie. I care immensely. Give me a second. Let me try. <clears throat> uh, if you sweetheart, have... who are you talking to? Nobody that you need to worry about. Mostly just, unless you're really worried about me, and then I'm just talking to myself. But if you have something to say, you should just say it. Your mom looks to your dad and your dad looks to your mom and they both go, your dad finally just takes a deep breath. Manny, we just want to make sure this is the right environment for you and you're doing well, not just socially, but you know, academically and physically. And um, you know, we, we heard from the Dean about you were, you were at the fire when it happened. And we heard that, you know, you were there when that student fell down the stairs. And we're just. If I decide that I don't want to continue going to school after I graduate from high school, is that going to be a problem? No, no, there's higher learning is a uh, patriarchal patriarchal scam created but created in order to uh, reinforce uh, the class divide but you know we just I'm fine I I think you guys might be undervaluing how important it is that I actually have friends honey we're not trying to undervalue that. That means the world, we're just... 
I have friends, which means regardless of how well I might be doing academically, there are more important things. And besides, if I need help, I actually have people I can ask as opposed to before. Your mom pipes, puts her hand on yours. You could always ask us for help as well. You know that, right? I did, and you sent me here. So I think we're all good. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about me. I think you guys did the thing that you were supposed to do, which is more than I can say for some of the parents of the students that go to this school. Hmm. Ma'at wraps her wings around you in an embrace. I you know, child, you I'm so proud of you. You know, I love you, right? We love you, emancipation. We just, you know, and we're really glad you have friends. And if you, we love being doll yet. If you want to introduce us to the others, we're more than happy to. We're here I, all weekend. I, at some point, I'm sure we'll actually see them. Actually, can you give me a few seconds? Of course, of course. Manny whips out their phone and starts texting the group chat. We should have a family dinner at some point this weekend. Yes, I know your parents aren't here. My parents can be your parents when I send that. When you send the text, it goes through, but there's another text message that follows pretty quickly after. It's a string of characters that isn't recognized by your phone along with a very static -y image. And all four of you received that along with uh, Manny's outreach. Okay, Ma, that, that you can tell me. What the hell? Hmm. I don't know. Iris, after 47 minutes of getting ready, are you prepared to go to a family diner? As close to being prepared as she ever will be. Yeah. She was just hyping herself up in the mirror. Having a bit of a house Annie moment. Um, you do receive a text message from Manny. Oh. Along with uh, another text message from an unknown number. In and your it, group chat. And the unknown number is all of a sudden in our group chat? Mm-hmm. <gasps> Suspicious! String of characters you don't recognize in a uh, very hard to see static image. Letty! Yeah. D this this message. Oh, yeah. That's we Listen, Lenny, you gotta let me stay with you. You gotta let me stay with you, ma'am. I can't do this. I can't do this. I've, I've had to fill out every form. There's so many forms. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, sorry. Go to her. Go to her. I'm, I'm gonna okay. hide. I'm gonna hide under your bed. Okay, but, uh, I Feel free, you're free to stay here, but like you should be like open and like honest with Iris about uh, your problems uh, because otherwise she might uh, interpret it as, uh, a, as a disavowing of her and her as a person. So I just- well, I don't like, wanna do that, I'm just dying. Yeah, so just be like, yeah, just like be honest. But anyway. All right, just give me like two hours of hiding under your bed, then I'll talk to her. Cool, Please. we'll talk after Denny's. Great. Yeah, I don't know what this text message is all about. Okay, well, we need to enhance it. The video, I mean, the image. We need to, we need to look at it. If, if I zoom in on it, can I see anything? Um, go ahead and give me an intelligence roll. Oh my God. Um, um how many rerolls do we have left? We have four. Okay, I'll use I'll I'll use one. I'll use one because I did roll one. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm sorry that I used one, guys, because I rolled a two. Ah. Now, um, I'm not Iris? trying to like no. make. I'm not trying to like 
you know, make fun of you. But that whole like enhance the image and video that they made that up for TV. Uh, oh, it, if you lose quality in, in, in imagery or sound, you cannot return it. You know, it's like, well, so impossible. it can't. So, so it, you can't just my... like put it on a program and say enhance and then like type real fast. Well, wouldn't it be able to, okay, wouldn't an algorithm be able to see the two different, like, okay, let's say the pixels are large and far apart and it would see two different pixels and then be able to make an educated AI guess as to what lies in between. And then- With, with a proper amount of, uh, uh, of input, uh -huh. possibly, but a low res blurry photo is probably not the, the best case. For, like there are algorithms, but it require a lot of, uh, a lot of testing, a lot of stuff. And we don't even know what this image is supposed to be. Let alone. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Well, so what is this picture? Uh, I haven't the slightest idea. Okay, great. Great. Okay. So wh what happens, Stephen, when I zoom in on this picture? <laughs> uh, with a two, nothing terrible happens. Cool. You just can't make hot, uh, hide or hair of it. So uh, what does it appear? Is it just static? Like, what does it look like? It looks like someone took a photo of another photo and it's been processed to all hell. Dahlia is going to send a picture in the group chat of herself just doing this, like, and then say <laughs> with a text message that says, hi, new friend, who's this? <laughs> um, as you take your photo uh, with Sarah Cortez 07 and mini marker in the background, uh, I assume you're all at the drama club, you know, drama kids they have fun um you receive a, another picture and this time you're actually able to make out what the image is it looks like a girl of about 17 but her eyes have been ripped out of the photo i'm gonna leave the group chat <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she does not look familiar to any of you. She has her hair seems to be white, and she has blunted bangs, uh, and it looks like a school photo. Dahlia is just going to send back the emoji of the monkey covering its eyes, <laughs> and then start a separate group chat with everyone in it, except for the well, uh, the bad number. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, so when you send that emoji, it loops me back into the group chat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, ah, Dahlia! <laughs> I have to re-remove myself. Mom, Dad, I need to use the restroom. I will be right back. Uh, okay, okay. They start talking to each other as you head off. Not a complete light. I do actually need to use the restroom. Okay. And as, as, uh, as Manny is going, they're like, what is going on? As you uh, walk through the crowd, past Michaela 20 and the other New England 20s, uh, you almost, almost run into R.I.P. Mika and their family. And they all look like a bunch of gangsters and uh, road warriors. They got, they got their leather jackets and they're snapping in unison. One of them has a knife. How do they get the knife in here? Don't worry about it. Uh, it is horrifying. Why? why? Why are they allowed at the school? Why? I just, I'm not going to mention that to my parents. Just, they don't, don't need to know. No. They don't, they don't need to know. No. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> but yeah, texting like in the new group chat. Uh, anybody familiar with what we just saw? Dolly will text back. Uh, no, I thought one of you added a new friend to our group. No, that definitely came out of nowhere. Does anybody know who she is? With that, a new number adds itself to your group chat again. This time, uh, there's a name attached. Kim. K-I-M. Uh... Can I try it? Can I try to do a group FaceTime call with this new number? Um, sure. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Uh, Iris throws her phone. <laughs> uh, Manny will pick up. 
Yeah, Lenny will pick up as well. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, the... I'm, I'm hunched in the background of <laughs> Lenny's call. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the iris box continues to just be her uh, contact photo before it goes dead. And then uh, you see, um, it looks like the North Point Cemetery. As a, one of the people? Yes. It's a lovely view. Do we see anything else, just the cemetery? Uh, go ahead and everyone give me an intelligence roll. Can I use Ma'at's assistance? Absolutely. Go ahead and spend the AP point and go ahead and give me intelligence power. I got a six. All right. I got an eight. Four for Iris. Uh, I got a 10. Perfect. Um, all right, everyone who got above a six. Um, so six and above or above a six? Six and above. Okay. So I believe that is Dolly and Manny only. No, I got an eight. Oh, Len That's Len higher got than eight. six. I, I counted apologize. On my fingers. Yeah. Okay. You three notice something, and Iris, you're too busy kind of cowering behind Lenny. Um, there is kind of a warp in the the video. Huh. Enhance. <laughs> As we've stated, you can't do that. But the warp seems to look like there's someone standing there, but they've been erased out. Uh, kind of like when someone photoshops something out of a photo, you can kind of see that little bump where they should be. Since I used my divinity, can I get any like further clarity as to what exactly is yes. going on here? Uh, Manny, as you use your divinity, Ma'at shows you. Uh, actually, Ma'at doesn't. Samedi does. Ma'at is doing her thing. The glowing gold is surrounding her eyes. And then Samedi just takes form and goes, oh, you got a ghost. Samedi is who again? Uh, Baron Samedi, you're... Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Way too many name ways to pronounce that name. Uh, oh, 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 hi. Hi, Baron, I, I nearly forgot you were here. I mean, you uh, have my key. I do. Hi. Hey, how are you? Ghost? You got a, a ghost. ghost. You 100% got a ghost. Uh, everybody oh, is this one of those, got... voice, one of those video call things? Hey, how I you doing? Think, I don't Hi. think I can see you. No, oh, you should. They should be able to. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, everybody, I if, uh, I will just repeat what you probably already heard. We apparently have a g -g 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 ghost. Oh. Oh, I see. Hmm. Uh, that think... would explain why her eyes are missing. Does it? Do ghosts not have eyes? No, but maybe maybe that's the reason why she doesn't. Maybe that's how she died. I don't know. We should go and find her. Yes. Okay, I think but the I... best advice is to not act scared of ghosts because ghosts usually want to scare you. And as they say in Othello, the robbed smiles, the robber loses something as well or something like that. Oh, sick. Um, hey, Iris, right. you want to go talk to a ghost? You know, unfortunately, I think that we have an unbreakable Denny's thing yeah, we, we have to do. We gotta go to Denny's, uh, Mrs. Mrs. Carlisle, um, Susan. Her name's Susan. Susan. Susan would probably be super upset if, like, we didn't go. Oh, okay. so oh, can't go see the ghost. So, so it's disappointing. <laughs> but you're gonna go to a Denny's. I think my mind is, is worse Denny's than a cemetery. Way. I'm gonna be honest. I, yeah, I'm not looking forward to it. I don't I think I've myself. ever heard anyone decide to go to Denny's. I think they all just find themselves at a Denny's. Yeah, it wasn't my choice. Uh, I've never had a good meal at Denny's in my life. Ah, you should try their omelets. Their omelets aren't bad. Not great. I don't really like egg. Oh, fair egg. <laughs> You don't like egg. Just one? <laughs> just, just one. <laughs> well, I make omelets with more than one egg. 
Then you don't like eggs. Have you tried eggs? Wait. <laughs> eggs? If I don't like the first one, why am I going to like more of it? <laughs> this is starting to hurt. Listen, I think you guys should come. Iris, I know you don't want to come because you're scared, but cowards die many times before their actual death. It's only the victors that die once. Mm. Okay. Uh, my friend you can wear my hockey pads if you want. One. Or my... My football pads. Okay. <gasps> Good idea. I just have to recontextualize my brain right now. I have to get in the right state of mind. All right. The just, bathroom's uh, over there. Just reach out to your divinity. Easy. Oh, speaking of, maybe, Kali, do you know this dead person? Uh, suddenly, Lenny's camera goes completely black, and it looks like you're staring into the night sky as uh, Kali takes form. I don't know every single dead person, but they are certainly dead. So you don't, so you don't know that dead person? No, I don't know them. Okay. Yes. Uh, Baron, do you know who it is? You were hanging out in that cemetery. Um, nah, it looked <gasps> like you got a bad case of the pores. I, I was only partying with the people with mausoleums. Easier to per get out. Persephone? Could you contact your hubby and see if he knows? Sweetheart, I would, but he's a key. <gasps> oh. Wait, that's so sad. Oh, yeah, how could you bring it up? Well, I guess <laughs> now that leaves us no choice. We must do this ourselves. Okay. To you the know cemetery. Danny's cemetery, same thing, right? <laughs> I mean... No, I'm you sure have to stand up for people. Denny's. Come on, you're a theater kid. No, Waffle House is better. Waffle House. Objectively Waffle House better. But at four in the morning, you go to Denny's after you've been rehearsing all night. Like, it's not tradition. If you're, not if not there's an maybe. IHOP nearby. Yeah. And not, if, not if there's a Waffle House as an option. I'm and actually, by the, is there Waffle House in Oregon? Because there's not Waffle no, House in, no. in California, Waffle right? House this is the East Coast thing. Exactly, yeah. We have a on the South, too. For sure. We yeah. had a Waffle Barn in Northern California, but it was- we, Barn? Uh, I remember the Waffle Barn. Ugh. It was not good. <laughs> we would always go to IHOP because they had really great um, I have... blueberry pancake deals. So. Yeah, I, I have and I like their fruit syrups. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're delicious. I just feel so sorry for- Anyway, hi, that. welcome to Breakfast Talk expecting. here on Savings Road Show. <laughs> yeah, I, I just feel bad for the na uh, the rest of the nation not being able to experience the joy and wonder Did that you go is to the Greasy House? Spoon Waffle House. Uh, I like Waffle House when food, I went. And also entertainment. Sometimes like no employees are there, which is great. Yeah. <laughs> no. it's a waffle House. Waffle. Yeah. We, had a, we had the Waffle Barn, which was filled with, uh, with Sacramento oh, King's memorabilia because <laughs> people love the Kings in Sacramento. <laughs> You we will legit find no no cake. diner staff <laughs> less likely to put up with your bullshit than the staff at Waffle House. It's yes. so good. Waffle Barn's an interesting name because a barn is not a place I would go to get waffles. No. no. Too much hay. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, All right, we've wildly. <laughs> uh, Lenny and Iris, you two have a, are you going to go uh, with Susan and Xander or are you going to go to the uh, cemetery? Lenny, I don't want to be mean, but I think that we should go to the cemetery. No, that makes sense. I'll just, I'll, I'll let Xander know, you yeah. know? Tell him no. that, just, like, just be honest. Just say, I, we're going to, we can't go because we're doing something else we would rather do. Okay, I probably won't be honest. Oh. Uh, I'm probably going to, uh, let him down gently. Uh, oh yeah. So I know. I know he's looking forward to this. Uh, couch the terms in a, in a nice way. Yeah. 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 Just, just switch it around. Mm -hmm. Going to Denny's is something that I would rather I not want, do. No, I. It's. I oh. would love to go to Denny's, but mm -hmm. like, uh, I had prior commitments that I'd already uh, that I can't get out of. Uh, so I can't get to. I have to do this other thing that I'm so disappointed oh, I have to. Yes. But I didn't remember at the time that you asked me that I was doing something else because I was overwhelmed with how bad the idea of going to Denny's was. No, no. Like I was oh. just so excited to spend time with you oh, that I yeah. was like, oh yeah, yeah, I want to. And then I agreed before I checked my phone. 
Okay, just send the text and then sign it, um, Lenny and Iris. Okay. Uh, you suddenly have a rabbit in your face, grabbing the side of your, grabbing your cheeks. You are not texting him that. I wasn't gonna. Go downstairs and tell him. Listen, I know. I can only put up with so much. I wasn't gonna just text. I was, I was having this conversation with Iris because Iris wanted me to do it this way. And I was gonna say I was going to and then do it a different way. I'm playing both sides. <laughs> Iris, is not how that works. Iris is standing like right next to you. You are a foot away. <laughs> it would have worked if you hadn't uh, totally come on. And, it and- would not have worked. And I would have gotten away with it too if it hadn't been for you meddling little kids. <laughs> and your pet bunny. Oh my God, you guys are told. You're kind of dressed up like them today too. Oh yeah, the colors. We yeah. do kind yeah. of have like a, a really Scooby, kind of, yeah, Scooby yeah. vibe today. Yeah, Mika Shaggy, uh, Aki is Velma. Uh, Eric is uh, the blonde one. Fred. Like I should have worn a color block top. Yeah, you should have worn purple. Oh, you got purple background, eh? Yeah. There you go. Daphne. Daphne. You don't know how happy that just made me. Yeah, we've got very strong Scooby gang vibes going on today. (laughs) All right. Now, would you like me to come with? This sounds like it might be some god bull crap. Yeah. And and I don't have to give anyone soup this week. Yeah, and there probably won't be any, like, parents or anything. Great. Uh, I wish your dorm would just allow pets. Not a pet. My parents are going to be worried about me. I told them I was just going to the bathroom and it sounds like it's going to be a lot longer than just going to the bathroom. I don't want to lie to them because lying is bad, but I don't know what I should say. Are you saying that to us? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got this too. Uh, so Lenny's going to go downstairs and, and, and find Xander and go, oh man, I am so sorry. I know we kept you waiting. I just realized I had plans with some friends uh-huh. and, and I can't make it to Denny's. Uh, please, please let uh, Mrs. Collins, um, Susan, know that I, I would, uh, that I will definitely want to, uh, would, would love to hang out. Uh, I know we got the whole weekend. So like, if there's another time, I'd love to, to do that. Awesome. I'll let her know. Okay. And then I'm going to make my way. I'm going to try and find uh, Manny's family. <laughs> okay. Uh, it doesn't it won't take- be hard. They look just like them. <laughs> yes. You find the Browns pretty quickly. They've uh, found the uh, vegan food collective ran by Hope Tracy. Wow. Someone with a screen name that actually just kind of works as a name. I love that. Yeah, the Vegan Food Collective ran by Hope Tracy, Magi, Catching Rain, and Committed Gaming. All four names that sound like people who would run a vegan collective at a school. But uh, yeah, no, they're having a love. They, they found some fried cauliflower. And they're having a great time. Oh, hey, are, are you Mr. and Mrs. Brown? Uh, Mr. and Doctor, but yes. Oh, so I I apologize, uh, Doctor, Mrs. Uh, <laughs> my name my name is Lennox Thatcher. Uh and uh I'm a good friend oh, of, of your Lennox time. Lennox Thatcher, yes, yes, your uh emancipation's friend. He's he, they they've mentioned you. They've mentioned you. Yeah, yeah. Lenny's Lenny's real cool. Um I I we kinda made plans today. We kinda oh, spaced out on they, they made, Yeah. They made yeah, we were gonna like all of us we were gonna go to town for a brief bit. So like if I, I didn't. I, I was just wondering if it's like you know, if it's a. I I, I don't want to like take away all your time with your child or whatever, but like I was wondering if maybe we could have like an hour or two to like hang out for a bit, uh, because we because we won't get to see each other that much this weekend. Uh, go ahead and give me a charisma roll, Linux. Ooh, why did it have to be charisma? Why did it have to be charisma? My dump stat two. Um, uh, well, we kind of all made plans. We had dinner reservations and stuff. Um, our, well, what time uh, are your dinner reservations? I'm sure uh, we can make sure, uh, uh, well, Manny it's four gets- o'clock now. They were supposed to be there at 6 30. Um, I, I, I'm sorry, what exactly are you and our child up to? It sounds kind of frantic and hectic. Uh, it's it's 
kind of okay so do do you know the game animal crossing because we've got this whole tournament going. We build up our own rules. It's this whole thing where it's like you have 15 minutes uh, to, to hit as many points as you can in a playthrough. Uh, it's like this whole thing. And it's kind of like it, it's kind of a big thing in the dorms. It's like um, and we scheduled it. And it, I you like like I don't want I don't well, want. Why would you schedule it for parents it's, weekend? It's, it's a monthly it's a monthly thing because it's like a big deal for us. Uh, and, and we can get we can get many in and out real quick. It's just like I. Like, I don't want them to take the L on this, you know, because they've been really like they've been working really hard uh, trying to trying to get, you know, their stats in. And, and you know, it's kind of like like it's, it's been hard for for Manny to, like, connect with people sometimes. So it's you know, this has been like a nice a nice way to. And you say the magic phrase. They both seem to kind of glance at each other and go, uh, well, it's fine now. Um, Sure. Uh, I don't know where Emancipation ran off to, though. They went to use the restroom. Uh, oh yeah, that makes sense. I'm sure. I'm. I'm sure we'll find them. Uh, so six thirty are your dinner reservations. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. You're, you're welcome to join us. I suppose. Um, oh, that's that's very kind of you. I'll have to see uh, see what my parents <laughs> and have planned for me. Uh, but thank you. Uh, I I I will endeavor to make sure that Emancipation is on time. Nice to nice to meet you, Lenny. Oh, thank Lennox. you. Um, Iris comes running up completely out of breath. I, it almost seemed like you were trying to ditch me. I finally hyped myself up to go to the cemetery. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> the cemetery in Animal Crossing. It's like, it's, it's, it's kind of like a, it, it's, it's a hard, it's not the easiest way to make points, but I feel like you can really get it. You can go, hey, come on, Iris, let's go. <laughs> With more questions than answers raised, uh, eventually you do find uh, Manny. What uh, did you tell, what, why do I have this strange text from my parents saying, have fun, the cemetery and with the crossing animals thing? What did you say to them? I lied to them that we were playing video games. I knew you were uncomfortable with like lies and whatever. What I'm going say? to punch him, says Maat. <laughs> what did they say? Uh, they said they were happy that uh, that you had friends and that, that uh, people who wanted to spend time with you. Dahlia's going to run up with a, a box that she took from one of the theater storage rooms of the headlamps that we use to walk around backstage. <laughs> and we're like, I got some supplies from theater. Oh, the theater room. Wow. I'm not used to running. I really got to get in shape for the next audition. Um, what would I we do without you, Dahlia? I don't know. I don't know yeah, what I do wanna... without you guys. I mean, not 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 to like push you, but if you're serious about getting in shape, uh, like like I get up every day at like at least six thirty and just go on a, a five mile run. Like like I could, you could tag along for like as much as you you want to or can do. Um, I'll think about it, Lenny. Yeah, that or we could start really some early. circuit training, like whatever, like ease you into it as much as you can. But I'm a, I'm just saying I'm a resource that you could utilize if you wish. Well, uh, yeah, th thanks. I'll think about it. That sounds really grueling and intense. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, I I got these headlamps and some hand flashlights as well. So in case it gets a little too spooky in the cemetery, we'll have a lot of light to scare away the dark. Right, Iris? Oh yeah, I so appreciate your preparedness. Not one, but two different sources of light per person. You really have a shining future. And I do mean that to have two meanings. Uh, if you were to join the school safety squad, there's well, always room for more, literally any more people. There's always room. You see, I brought all of them because most of them do cut out and short out a lot. So I'm hoping that none of them do, but I decided to be, yes, I was prepared. Yes, Thank you. Right. Smart. As the four of you gather at the gates of the school, you hear the dun 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 of a uh, school announcement. Uh, be right, UK. Be right, UK. Uh, the captioning just called Eric's character Lennox Patcher, which is just too good. Thank you all and have a good day. Bing, 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 bing.
School announcements are getting weirder and weirder at this school. Captions? Hmm. Hello. Yes. <clears throat> Let's go. Oh, by the way, I'm fairly certain I have dinner reservations happening with my parents today. Yeah, 6.30. Is... I promise uh, I will get you back in time. You guys should come to eat dinner with us. I'll have to check with mom and pops, but I think they'd be down. Is it at the Denny's? Because I'm already pretty prepared to go to a Denny's. Probably somewhere nicer. You're oh. prepared to go to Denny's? I'm still prepared, yeah. Oh. You should be. Then you should be prepared for a cemetery because they're kind of the same thing. Yeah. We're all good things going to die. We are dunking mm -hmm. so hard on Denny's. And <laughs> just a reminder, <laughs> Chad, if you want Lennox, uh, not Lennox, if you want Iris to deal with something she's not prepared for at 120, we will have her parents drop in via Zoom. So letting you know that i'm trying to with, figure out who on earth steven has lined up to drop in as his parents ay, ay, ay. okay let's go with that <laughs> uh the four of you make your way to north point cemetery um it's been a couple days since the last dead man's party and it's been cleaned up no questions have been answered and as far as anyone's concerned it's over or like kids got bored you know, grave robbing. Things teenagers do. <laughs> yes, yeah, simple grave robbing. Yeah. Definitely something that happens normally. Yeah, Absolutely. you know, just getting all the bones out and mixing them around. Something teens love doing. Well, yeah. like only teens the and not, amount of not times. The, <laughs> only teens do it and not the British Museum. Of course. <laughs> no. If I had a buffalo nickel for every time I grave God. robbed as a child. You're going to send Mika to an early grave with all these hot takes, Eric. Like, it's like... <laughs> Oh, get used to them. He's full of them. Fire tonight. Mm -hmm. This is edutainment. Yeah. Wow. Uh, as the four of you arrive, it is, uh, the sun is going down, but you still have plenty of light. And go ahead and give me intelligence roll to see if you can pinpoint where that photo, where that video you saw earlier could be. Well, it could have been taken, I guess. Intelligence? Words are hard, folks. Yes, intelligence. I got a five. I got a three. 11. Okay. What oh, are we damn. rolling again? Intelligence. <laughs> my, Your my best, best stat. stat. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a four. Oh, oh, work. It's still probably not enough, but I rolled maxed on my die. So right. it is a critical success. Um, All of you kind of figure it had a view of both the uh, Pacific Ocean and some hills. So it has to be closer to the coast and not and higher up. But Iris, you remember this place because during the dead man's party where you were forced into dancing, yeah, totally after, you know, an hour, um, you actually stopped by that place. You oh. recognize it immediately. Like, you know exactly how to get there. And uh, Iris, surprisingly, leads the way for the four of you as you head up the hill to a grave. For life the way that Iris um, leads the way is she makes everybody walk in front of her and she tells them to like go right or like go left or like <laughs> step, step over. <laughs> it, it, it's like when you play an old RPG and all the characters just walk in a line, but yeah. in reverse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like Snake. It's like Snake. Yeah, it's like Snake. Um, you find a, uh, grave, uh, for Kim Navarro. Uh, she was born in 1996, died in 2013. Does this name sound familiar to me? No. She was 17. <gasps> I wonder if she went to our school. Yeah, I did. <gasps> oh, no yes. doubt. Were you texting us earlier? Uh, yeah. Yeah, found out I could do that. That's fun. Hi. Hi there. Hello. Um, you are greeted with a girl. She is wearing the North Point Academy uniform. Uh, her hair is white, blunted bangs. Um, she's kind of a frail, wispy thing. Uh, and she sits on her gravestone. Hi. 
Hi. Um... Hi. What's up? You're Kim Navarro? Yes, hi. Um, my name's Kim, sorry. I didn't mean to send you the whole ring stuff. It's really hard to... Talking, talking's a lot easier, I'm realizing. Now, speaking, I can speak. Speaking is new. I'm glad. I'm really glad. Um, That's okay. I got a buddy on the, the football team uh, who, like uses uh, a Windows phone. So it's like group texts are always weird for him. Like he never gets, like he never, he, he always gets them in like, like spurts, like, like, like in the morning and it'll like download all the messages for like the, that we sent last night. So it's like, it gets weird sometimes. So I like, I get it. Does he also get the messages that are like, uh, Linux loved that message. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. He, gets, he gets those, yeah. And yeah. a lot of times the texts are out of order or they'll be responding to a text that you sent like two days ago. And it's like, it, and all it oh, says well, is like same lol same yeah, yeah and like and like if you use like an like an emote that's not like you know a very basic one he won't see it yeah yeah huh cool being dead is like a windows phone or a denny's <gasps> how, did, how did you die yeah Sorry. i was gonna ask that but i didn't want to be rude thank you <laughs> oh, by the way it's okay i'm i usually am <laughs> yeah by the way i'm lennox <laughs> yeah hi Money. Hi. You recognize um, me, I'm Dahlia. I sent you a picture. <laughs> yeah, yes, I did get that picture. And um, I remember you from the dancing. Oh, when we were all forced to dance for hours. Yeah, when we all of us were in, entranced to dance. I was sick. Oh, yeah. I couldn't dance. And if I could, I would have killed it. So, yes, oh, yeah. you would have. Thank you, Manny. I had I had like two left feet, uh, so like I I got stuck in a Congo line and then was trampled by skeletons. But uh, yeah, I'm it I'm pretty sure it's just skeleton. Story. I don't think there's an skeletons. I. Skeletons. I don't think there's a G. No, no, it's it's a regional thing. It's skeletons where we're from. Cool. Penguin. Cool. Good. Good. <laughs> that just doesn't sound right. What do I care? I'm dead. Um. Okay. I don't know how to put this. Um, you're going after the Phantom Queen, aren't you? Mm -hmm. The dead dude. But how did yes. you know? Um, yeah, I... Please stop. No. Why? How? Sorry, I don't actually... I just was... I thought... Sorry. <laughs> um, okay. Didn't... Didn't expect that to work, I'll be honest. I didn't expect that to work. Um, okay, so I, do you know what a divinity is? Oh, yeah. Can you see yes. this? Persephone, can she see you? Um, Persephone takes form and she, Kim looks over to her. Hi, yeah, um, it's a little different now that I'm dead. I can see all of them, it's not hard. She's pretty. Okay, Wait, you can see all of them, but were you able to see some of them before you died? Um, well, I had one. Who? The Phantom Queen. Uh oh. Wait, but this doesn't really make sense because the keys are the reason we had the divinities. They were actually their own person before this. And then the Phantom Queen took them and turned them into keys. And then we took the keys. So how did you have an affinity before this? What are you talking about keys? So the Phantom Queen did a thing. She is trying to seize the power of all the gods. She transformed every single god from every single pantheon into keys and is holding them hostage. Yes. So we managed to get a hold of- <laughs> No, the no, that, that, that can't be right. Um, that can't be right. And, uh, uh, we've Nanny seen it with our own a, eyes, Kim. Yeah, uh, Loki told us and keys. they wouldn't lie. And Manny oh, has the Loki. keys. I have three, actually. But when she consumes the keys, she, like, consumes them, and they're no longer gods. They're just crows. She wouldn't... You Listen, I... I know it looks bad, but you have to be mistaken, because... 
I can show you the, the Morgan words. was the Morgan was my divinity. We, she was my what? Who? Pause. Uh, full na- full name. The please. Morgan. 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 The Morgan. And Lafay. She came before that, but yeah, that was that was her other name. Okay. But I was on. helping her find her husband. We was were fighting husband? the crows and But the, she controls the crows. <laughs> no. I don't you know what you guys know because that's what's happening. Yeah, <laughs> that's what's happening and honestly you're gaslighting us. I... Maat, do you mind uh showing him the truth? Oh, this will be fun. Go ahead and roll me uh, power charisma mm-hmm. and spend the AP, of course. Okay. Power charisma. <gasps> oh, yeah, 18. Oh, damn. I rolled max on one of my die, so. Oh, very nice, very nice. Um, by the way, if you get two sixes or uh, max on both dice, that's a crit. Um, Ma'at shows her everything that's gone down. Every fight, every un- every time the Phantom Queen has used a key to create a crow from someone's darkness to, well, everything. And Kim just kind of watches and what happened after I died? We don't know. We just, this all happened to us like just a few weeks ago. So obviously didn't happen right away because you died in 2013 and it's 2020 now. 2021. Oh. Yeah. But I mean, how long have the rumors of the Phantom Queen been going around campus? So and, long. Yeah, but it was, they were just rumors. They were stories. They weren't her. Well, something happened where she became those things. Yeah. Yeah. Like, not to be uh, rude or nothing, but um, it. what were the circumstances surrounding uh, your unfortunate demise? And do you think m- maybe that either affected uh, Morgan in some, some negative manner? I was... Um, me and my friends, we had we had divinities we found them well they were kind of given to us and i got the morrigan the phantom queen yes you and um we were fighting crows Um, and ella mcgard down who gave uh who who gave them to you and in what form? Um, they didn't to protect the gate. Oh yeah, we've seen the gate. Yeah, we had to make sure the gate wasn't open because the Phantom Queen wants to open the gate. Yes. Um. Also, who are the other members of your team? Yeah. I mean... Did they also die? They at least graduated. If they didn't. I'm the only one who didn't make it. I'm happy about that. I'm grateful. No one else got hurt. But I let my guard down and um, I 
So in your in your time, the Phantom Queen was good. That's what you're saying. You yeah. were working with your divinity, the Phantom Queen, and your other friends who had divinities to fight off the crows. But now in our time, in this like four, not more than four years, almost 10 year gap, the Phantom Queen is now the one controlling the crows and turning all the other divinities into keys. And we have gotten a few of them so that we can stop the Phantom Queen from controlling the crows and opening the gate. So we need to figure out what, what happened. And the easiest way to find that out is to figure out who else was in your team because they might have answers. They might have seen things. It seems like yeah. you died and someone took the Phantom Queen's divinity or she started working on her own. I mean, I don't know anything about keys. When I had divinity, they were just there. You let them in and they were part of you. So no one came and gave you a divinity? I mean, the schoolmaster, you know, the dean, he thought it was a, he was the one who kind of told me about it. What is the first dean and last name of the dean? This? Hmm? Uh, yeah, it was his whole thing. The reason he built the school to keep, to protect the gate. Excuse? Well, then. Uh -huh. On three, say the dean's name. One. Let's all do it. Two. Three. Sir. Orpheus. Can Why you didn't just say anything? Him? This was all for you to say it. <laughs> Uh, I do have the name. It, the problem is my notes are a mess. One second, everyone. <laughs> okay, I'll count one more time, Kim. I know that you were just thinking really hard. I'll do it. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Dr. <laughs> Oliver, Oliver Ash. Oliver Ash. Two, yes. what, okay, wow. Same Dean. So Same Dean? Dean? Ash any knows about divinities. Have any of us actually ever met the Dean? Uh, no. Yes. Out of... Game at narrator voice. Uh, you have seen him. He goes to the pep rallies. He goes to the school plays. He uh, like? He's very involved with everything. He, but you've never seen him off campus. And have any of us had like one-on-one -on -one conversations with him? Is I Orpheus don't so. here? Orpheus is with you. Yeah. Orpheus, Orpheus is kind of reeling right now. Yeah, do you know who, do you, have you ever had any contact or experience speaking with the dean of our school? Manny, this is all news to me. Oh, gosh. Okay. No, like, I, I, okay, I was in Greece, uh, uh, Parthenon. It's really hard to make hand symbols when you don't have fingers. Um... And then I was almost keyed and then I ran and uh, why, why can't I remember the middle part? That, 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 doesn't, that doesn't track, right? Like that doesn't track. Oh God, oh God, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna sit down for a minute. Plop, flop. So our Dean knows about divinities. The Phantom Queen wasn't always evil. We still haven't gotten the names of the three other students. Or were there three? How many people were in your team? Oh, sorry. There were four of us. Um, yeah, I'm curious about them. They might have answers. Well, yeah, why don't you tell us their names? There was Gemma Rhodes. She had, she had like this spider goddess thing, very particular. Anansi? Um, yeah, that was her. <sighs> then, then there was John Ram. Uh, he was kind of built like you. She looks over to Lennox, you know, just kind of a big guy. Uh, very jacked. Yeah. 
though the style of the time was to call it shredded. Oh. Yeah. Nowadays we we like to say cut. Cut. That's Torked. good. Torqued. 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 Swall. <laughs> I think that's on its way out. Yeah. Up to ask the boys. He had this. Um, it kind of. It, it was like a peacock. Imagine a peacock and a dragon. Have that one. But we haven't we haven't learned anything about it yet. You have that one, Iris. Think I do. So? I think so because I have the rat. Ugh. And then I. Oh my god! I know him. <gasps> what? The the, the rat. The rat. I mean, anything good? No. Okay. So he did. Funny you have him. He was the fourth member. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say probably the fifth member was Sun Wukong. There were only four members, Lenny. Oh, but you did so good in listening. <laughs> that was really good, though. I'm oh, thanks. You. So we have the Phantom Queen, the Morrigan. Anansi, the peacock dragon that we still don't know anything about. Have you actually tried to extract the divinity from that key yet, Iris? I have not. I have put it in a box and then pretended it didn't exist. But I have it in my bag now. That that sentence alone is a mo- Uh-oh. Oh, what did I you put say? put it in a box and pretend it doesn't exist. That's like Iris in a <laughs> sentence. <laughs> oh. Well, I hung out with Dionysus a bit. It's actually why I was sick, but we don't have to get into that. Talia. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> okay, so I I have the rat. We don't use the rat. The rat just is over here. Don't we have this Don't one. let we have Skaven out. Yeah, Even. that. Yeah, that's uh that's Quetzalcoatl. Oh. Who? I've heard. Quetzalcoatl. I, I didn't bother learning about anyone else's divinity. As far as I was concerned, the club was. Can you spell it? We have Google on our Q-U phones. Q-U something. <laughs> Q-U-E-Z-T-O-Z-L-E. Q-U-E-T-Z-A-L-C-O-A-T-L. Yeah. Yes. It's uh, it's like a cryptid from, I think, the Mayans. Yeah, cryptid god, same thing. In history. Oh, yeah. okay. Wait, if cryptids and gods are like the same thing? That was a joke. That was a joke. Okay. Oh, okay. Are you telling me Mothman's a god? <laughs> immediately, immediately, uh, Kim seems to be aware of how to deal with Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Manny is buried in their phone looking at a Wikipedia article and the moment they find out what Quetzalcoatl's uh, divinity is, they kind of look at Iris and then just kind of put their phone back down and they, they're just going to be like, over here. <laughs> it's be over here. <laughs> you want to trade? <laughs> oh no, oh no. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to like kind of, you left your phone up, right? Yeah. I'm just going to kind of peer at it and then just like put the key down next to the phone and just kind of step back. I'm going to slip you Baron's, the Baron's key though. Oh yeah. I'll take that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to trade. Baron Samty is going to go hang out with Iris now. Yeah. All right. yeah, yeah. Make sure you're taking notes on who has what key. Yep. I had a feeling Quetzalcoatl was possibly up my my uh my alley but um yes this will do nicely <laughs> yeah john had quetzalcoatl i had the morrigan uh gemma uh gemma had the uh, nancy thanks i can never remember that one's name and kyle had skaven who's holding skaven right now Anyone? I have is Skaven. It, you're still holding Skaven. Okay. Yes. I'm, I am taking care of Skaven. 
Because uh, I, mean, I, I like you could trust me never to use him. <laughs> yeah. Don't let Skaven out. And nobody had Sun Wukong. You have Sun Wukong. <laughs> I do. No, I know. I who's that first? I know. I currently do. I meant like because you all had keys from like people who already had keys or whatever. Oh well, well, I think it might just be a coincidence. Unless there was also like a, a mystery fifth or sixth person with divinities back oh. when you were when you were doing things. Because we have a couple of people who aren't part of our core group that have divinities. Like somebody has the Anansi key. We haven't figured out who that is. And and somebody has Ma'at's husband as a key. I made a new friend while you were sick, Dahlia. What? But don't think that means you're being replaced. That's not true. You're not. But Ma'at's no. husband, somebody has Ma'at's husband. Okay. So is it like, the is it like Pokemon long- or something? How many are there? There are thousands of keys. They're all stuck in a vault. Loki made a hole and he's been throwing keys through it so that they can escape because Loki's kind of sort of on our side, maybe mostly because I shamed him. I think maybe he's on his own side and that kind of helps us. They're always on their own side. Right. We We happen to be. We can always count on. Yeah. She is always on her own side. <laughs> also, but we happen to be is... on the side that it, that Loki wants to help right now, maybe? Yeah. For now. No, Orpheus is the reason we got keys in the first place. Yeah. Hi, this is Orpheus. Our That's a bunny. Yes. It's Orpheus. Don't call him a bunny. I'm, uh, I'm getting used to it. Hi. But they're basically our companion and familiar and, 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 yes. And roommate for me. Yeah, about that. We'll, you know, we'll talk in a minute. We'll talk, not, not the right time, not the right time. So why exactly is it that you are so concerned about us going after the Phantom Queen? Because we've done a lot of talking in circles now. And I guess it's about time we got to the core of this conversation. She was my best friend. Maybe all she has to do is see you. I don't, I don't know. How did you, I know we've already talked about this, but how did you die? Like detailed. All right. Did she have a hand in it? No, she tried to stop it. I was, (sighs) sorry, talking about how you died is a little emotional, I'm realizing. Wasn't expecting to really be able to talk ever again. So um, we were fighting some crows. They were trying to break out of the old, uh, you know, gymnasium behind the Galana dorms. It's still called that, right? We live in that dorm. Oh, cool. I was uh, third floor. Um, the crows were trying to get out. We knew that. If they did, they were going to hurt someone. I let my guard down for a moment and they stabbed me in the heart. And as she says that, uh, a red splotch begins to kind of spread on her chest. Oh, you're, um. Oh, cool. That's uh, new. Oh. Why are you freaking out? I'm already dead. Yeah, it but it, it still doesn't look nice. Yeah, it doesn't feel great. That's so... a pretty well timed. Could you imagine that kind of like like that timing if you got a squib to do the exact like that? Sorry. No, right when you said stabbed in the heart. It's very good. Yeah. But I mean, not to that must have hurt. Yeah. Um, and so... then I died. Why did you ask us to not hunt the Phantom Queen if you didn't know that she was bad? Because you meant when you were here, one of you was, uh, how did you say it? Anking the Anthem Queen? Oh, I'm very shocked that you understood what I was saying because- It took a while. That's a foolproof way to communicate on the fly with your friends. It's more nasally than foolproof, but sure. Um, 
I heard you talking about that and I don't know what happened after I died, but she was my best friend. No one understood me better than her. And, you know, I'm, I'm not sure how it is with your divinities, but for me, she meant a lot and I want to help her. I mean, I definitely feel like a connection uh, with my divinities, but uh, I'm still fairly new to this thing. Uh, and, and definitely a friendship is forming. Uh, but, uh, and, and, you know, I, I have hopes, but like, I can't say that it's uh, a lifelong friendship at this point. Right. Like, I'm not sure if mine is more of a friendship of circumstance or um, something really long term. I do feel a connection as well. Well, I, on the other hand, love my divinity and would love to have them around forever. You guys, they can hear you right now. Yeah, I'm not saying- <laughs> I'm being I'm not, honest. I'm being honest. I'm not saying like, I don't want to hang out forever. I'm just saying like, I don't know if I would call Ninkasa like my best friend, you know? I, I would call her hot. Persephone mine. And, and I'm not saying that that's even like totally an Ninkasa's fault. I feel like, like maybe I haven't been as open as I could be, you know? I well, think Laat knows how I feel. I could hardly hide it from her. That's true. I mean, I'm just, look, I know what I am. And I know that Kali is like the beginning, the end and everything. And like, what do I have to offer? Right? Yeah, hard, so to just, to. hard to live up to. Realistic. I don't know. I think you're all pretty awesome. And that you are, your, your divinities are lucky to have you. Ah, thanks, Manny. Wow. But if you say that there is something there for us to say in the Phantom Queen, then we believe you. If she was once somebody that was good and just and wanted good and just things for other people and the Phantom Queen as she currently is, is not someone you know or recognize, we believe you. So, I mean, sorry to interrupt Manny, but like, I would love to save the Phantom Queen, except every time we see her, she's hurting and almost killing our friends and also us. And so I think showing any kind of restraint in those situations is a really bad idea. Yeah. It's like the, the Dalai Lama has said, you know, you you can only be a pacifist uh, if you're like, you can't be a pacifist and also dead. So, you know, defending yourself is important. Well, if she's too far gone she's too far gone i just um did you know who like where the crows were like coming from or whatever yeah they uh were coming from the gate oh hmm. okay because so yeah orpheus isn't the gate like sealed yeah the gate has been closed for ever okay what is beyond the gate oh um yeah, she told me I wasn't allowed to tell, but why do I care? She's evil and I'm dead. Um, that's where gods go when they die. Oh. So the crows are coming from the place where gods go when they die? Yeah. Are the like, crows the spirits of dead gods? I think the crows are just kind of everything dark, sad, and forgotten. Huh. They... You know, they used to come out of the gates and sometimes they'd come out of people's, you know, bad juju. Yeah, well, I mean, we've definitely seen the Phantom Queen take Divinity and warp it to be like the crows. Like we've never fought, like, like we fought some crows and then she's converted other divinities into crows that we fought. So, I mean, awesome. it's possible that she is also somehow corrupted by whatever this forces. But at the end of the day, we have to do our what we can to save as many people as we can. Maybe she is merely a puppet in someone else's theater as well. Yeah. Kim, are you able to leave the cemetery? Nope. Oh. Hmm. Trust me, I tried possessing someone. It didn't work. Though, uh, real quick, if you see, uh, let's see, what was his name? Solix Kid 8 or... D Man one one nine eight or the Sassicorn, you know. I, I think they're all members of the Occult Club. If you see those three, uh, I tried possessing all of them. It, it, 
in order. It didn't work. All right. Maybe it's just like a phrase you have to say. Have you seen Bly Manor? Uh, no, you probably haven't seen that. You've been dead. I don't know what that uh, is. You've been dead for eight years. Uh, yeah. Maybe they have to be willing. I don't know. Stephen sixty eight was pretty on board when I showed up. Showed up when he was tran at the transcendental meditation thing, and that didn't work. Hmm. Well, perhaps it's just a matter of your spirit being strong enough. Maybe right now it's not. But that being said, I kind of think that uh, Iris might be onto something. Perhaps if the Phantom Queen were to see you, or if the two of you were given the opportunity to talk, it could help things, perhaps. Maybe we could do shoot a small video of you saying something to the Phantom Queen, like a cameo. I don't know if that would work. Because when we FaceTimed earlier, Oh, it, it was not good. Oh, yeah. I don't show up on camera. And then also, <sighs> we'd ha even if we could do that, we'd have to like sit down and like send it to her. So that, that might be a challenge. Do yeah, do gods don't have cell phones. Hey, do you have like an inside joke or a secret thing that you guys would say to each other? And the next time we see her, we could say like potato skins or whatever, you know? And then she would be like, oh, my memories of my best uh, friend. Okay, wow. Um, why potato skins? I was just thinking, I'm hungry. We were supposed to go to Denny's. <laughs> the Denny's is still open, good Lord. Yeah, you can't, you can't, it's That's actually illegal. It, it's illegal to close down a Denny's unless it burns down naturally. Mm. It's also <laughs> illegal to have a health uh, code higher than 80 for a Denny's, I heard. Yeah. Really? Disgusting. But okay, fine. If you want an inside joke, how to get burn. How to get burn? Yeah. Say that? Try that. Hey, Phantom Queen, how to get burn? And she'll she'll know. If she's the same person I knew. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Hmm. What does that mean? Ever see The Wicker Man? Nicholas Cage, there's a yeah. girl who gets run over by a car on a boat and it's really stupid. Um, we watched that and she thought it was the most offensive thing ever and uh, we laughed. She did a Wicker Man thing at us. Oh, oh yeah. Burned. Yeah. She tried to kill us the other day with a Wicker Man. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I That's why the theater is gone. Yeah, she. Well, the auditorium's down. gone. The theater's still there. The theater is just a spirit that lives in your heart. <laughs> but yeah, she definitely pulled that on us. Maybe she's still in there. Maybe. If she is, we'll try and find her for you. Thanks. I do think that when the time comes, Dahlia should perform it because she does um, breathe in with her diaphragm. Thank you. Thank you. I can't. Yeah, I thought you were a theater kid. What gave it away? <laughs> Kim just kind of all of it. Charlie's <laughs> gonna start like crying a little. <laughs> Tuck that away. Tuck that away. Okay. Yeah. Um, sorry, I interrupted your phone calls or whatever. And um. That's okay. It's parents. Thanks for coming to visit. Yeah. I mean, this is more entertaining than Denny's. I don't yeah. know. I agree. Um, I did think we we dropped some a conversation we should have had about the Dean knowing about uh, all of this. Oh, yeah. And perhaps being behind it all. Oh, the dean built the school to keep the gate safe, but then the gate's not safe and it's locked and he seems to be just having a good old time. Meanwhile, we have divinities and he didn't give it to us even though he gave the divinities oh, to the people in the past. He might not know. Maybe or he'd... what if, and hear me out, I'm going to go on, I'm going to connect dots that don't exist. What if he built this school to keep mm. 
whatever this door closed. Uh, and he realized he needed he needed people. And for some reason, he chose teenagers uh, to get to imbue with power to help him defend the realm when it was too much for him. Uh, but then uh, around eight years ago, one of those kids died tragically. And then he said no more. So he shut down uh, the, the doorway permanently. Oh, so he feels guilty. Yeah. Mm. What if what if there's Ooh, what if he has struck some sort of deal with the Phantom Queen? Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it sounded like you guys had it, and now it sounds like you are going in the opposite direction of having it. But, uh, hey, let me know. I'm not going anywhere. I need to at least talk to him. I'm going to scream your name in his face and see what he does. M maybe don't do that, though. Please but don't that's the quickest way to get to the truth. Well, I mean, if anyone screamed anything in my face, I think I would get a little scared. And defensive. We, yeah, maybe yeah. we just say like, hey, we talked to Kim. You know Kim? Oh no, she's dead? Oh, that's right. She is dead. And she had a divinity that you gave her. Isn't also, that interesting? Isn't that, yes, Iris, yes. We might want to avoid being confrontational, but I do agree that we should talk to him. Also, Dahlia? Have you ever considered writing? Because that was like heck of good. Yes. Can I show you like the eight script specs that I have? Oh, absolutely. Perfect. I miss writing. Oh, I right, miss Gordon. Denny's. <gasps> you could be a ghost writer. Oh. Oh my gosh. You're not laughing. Yeah, sorry. Sense of humor is a little dead. Okay. But I'm shish. <laughs> Well, that's good. I wow. mean, what's stopping you from writing other than like corporeal form? You could text. Kim walks up to you and she leans back and she gives you the biggest bitch slap she can, Lennox, and it just goes right through you. Oh. Yeah. I can't you... I can't really can do you... a whole lot. And technology is very interesting when you're dead. Can you manifest paper and pen from your ghostly form? How did you text us? Can you dictate to your phone? <gasps> oh, yeah. Notes app. I don't I do that. have a phone. I Do you want mine? <laughs> you, he has like a bunch. <laughs> I'll just get another one. I'm good. For I'm minutes? good. Thanks. I'm um, fine. I'm fine. All right. Testy. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Listen, I. Thanks for letting me know how fucked everything is. <laughs> Hopefully they will become less fucked. Oh. Very nice. again, Manny. <laughs> I'm being influenced poorly by my friends. Listen, can you, can you not tell uh, Dr. and Mrs. Brown that I'm the one that's swearing around you? Because that would, because, because if, the, if they find out you're cussing, they're going to think like, oh no, Le Lenny's, Lenny. Lennox is the one making making them cuss, and I don't I don't I I don't need that. I think you've got to switch around. My mom's the doctor. Oh. The language okay. is a beautiful thing, and it's a way to get ideas across. No matter how crass those ideas are, sometimes you need that stuff. It can be a real punctuating point in your thing. I don't think my parents would appreciate it. I have to watch my language around them. Oh. Okay. Sorry. No. Not your fault. I think they're still getting used to the fact that I'm growing up. That makes sense. I mean, you kind of like moved out already. You know? Eh, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, we have a lot of action items to consider for the future. We need to talk to the Dean. We need to track down the other three students that were part of original uh, Kim's original cell. Um, we need to find the person who has the Anansi key. Uh, we haven't done that yet. And we should focus on that because Anansi might also have answers that we can use. And even though we should definitely not let Scaven out of his key, he might also have answers. So we should get started on that stuff. But um, maybe after it's all over, Kim, um, I could come back here to the cemetery um, because I've already been here twice. So it's pretty much like I live here. Um, and I could uh, 
transcribe your writing and then we could get Dahlia to perform it. Nothing is better than seeing your words come to life. Yes. Can That'd I be do fun. a set production? Yeah, we could do a whole production. And Lenny will... Um, Lenny can um, choreograph. You can sit with me in the audience. Or you, oh, could Lenny, play you, could be, you could be a critic, Lenny. You have really great ideas sometimes. Oh, thanks. We'll just call you a dramaturg. Uh, I don't know what that word means. Uh... Nobody's perfect. <laughs> okay. Well, productive meeting. Yes. And we will certainly like to come back and talk with you more, Kim, if that's all right. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, and you already got our numbers, so you can like text or whatever. And I can try to do that again. Sorry if it was a bit more the ring than I intended. Well, now that we know what it is, I won't be as scared. That's good. She might still leave the group chat. She does that a lot. <laughs> yeah. I invite her back all the time. Yeah, I do leave a lot because sometimes, um, sometimes Dahlia, Lennox, and Manny, they'll send over what they think is like a funny meme, but yeah. to me, it looks scary, so I leave. Hmm. Don't get offended, though. It's just Iris. <laughs> All right. Hey, I'm getting kind of tired. Surprisingly, you still do that when you're dead, so... Uh... You have to use a lot of energy, I imagine, to be a ghost. You have no idea. Well, uh... Hands in, everybody. Good good team meeting. Oh, Kim, we'll pretend. We'll pretend. Okay. <laughs> and break. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> Always wanted to do that. <laughs> as the three, as the four of you head back to the campus proper, uh, you see many students gathered around. You see Ignatius Wang and the Wang family, you know, they're heading down to the beach for the fireworks they're going to be doing tonight. Uh, the board family with their child, Vorpal Board, is, uh, you know, setting up some new furniture for them, apparently. Uh, you see Griff Moy, who is uh, directing students to different places and parents alike, because that's what happens when you sign up to run events. Most of the time you're just telling people, oh no, no, it goes over there. You need to be over here. Um, and what are the four of you going to do? We should, oh, we should all get dressed for dinner. Oh, right. Oh. Something, something, oh, if you have something that's slightly fancy, but not too fancy, you should wear that. I need to go put on a tie and get a blazer. Okay. I have just the thing. Lenny, you want to come? Oh, sure. Yeah. Iris, will you come to dinner with me? Yes. Oh. <sighs> yes, I will. I don't suppose you have something nice that you can wear? Um, yes, I do, actually. Great. Um, then I'll meet you all back down here at six? Yeah. Okay. How much time does that give me? Uh, it gives you about 15 minutes. Oh, okay, yeah, I can make that work. All right, I'm gonna text my parents and let them know that my friends are going to come to dinner with us. Yeah. Um, as you get ready, there's a dun, 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 another school announcement. Uh, message from Zordon. This dean must be a villain. What kind of fool would give superpowers to teenagers? Dun, 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 dun. It's a little and on the nose, don't you think? As you hear the xylophone announcing it, you hear someone in the background, Ask Del Castillo! 
How dare you? You get out of here right now. And then it goes out. Another. So people keep breaking in and using the school announcement system. It's horrible. Should invest in locks. Yeah, they really should. I know where we got some keys. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. The four of you get ready. Uh, what are you wearing? We're wrapping up, so we might as well give you guys some fun costumes. Sure. Uh, I'm wearing the... Uh, <laughs> I'm wearing one of the dresses that Sandra D wears in Greece. Uh, I kept it from our freshman year production. It's very pink and frilly and, and has a lot of tulle underneath it. And I've tried to put my hair up like hers too. Go ahead and give me a dexterity roll. Let's see how well you did it. Okay. I got a seven. You nailed it. Perfect. Yeah. Um, Iris. Iris is wearing uh, a really uh, a really nice tailored suit, um, but then over it, she's wearing you know in um, um, American Psycho um, <laughs> the thing okay. over. She's wearing that over. Big Are you talking about? Like a yeah. skull or the, ro- no, the no. Like, rain jacket? The rain jacket thingy. Oh, but also mix it with the thing that Hannibal Lecter wears in the series Hannibal, where it's like the pants also. Oh, yeah. So you're wearing a so plastic you- coat and plastic pants over your coat and pants. Tailored. That's actually pretty vogue, to yeah. be honest. Yeah. Yeah. It's- it's called it's fashion, like, honey. It's, Look it's, it up. It's I could see like chic. a like yeah. a, a solid like yeah. a Billie Eilish at a like an MTV Video yeah. Awards or something in that. Yeah, they're both very tailored. She's very wealthy. Miss Eilish, eat your heart out. <laughs> All right, Lennox, what are you wearing? Uh, Lennox has uh, a a a a tailored blue uh, slacks and and uh, blazer uh, with a a a uh, darker blue turtleneck on. <laughs> Sounds like nice. you're ready to go yachting. And mm-hmm. Manny? Uh, Manny is doing um, a really nice sort of uh, like green, like sort of olive green number to like <laughs> set off their skin um, with a, a like a boat neck, uh, a really nice boat neck um, t-shirt underneath, like kind of a graphic tee sort of deal with a, with a blazer um, in the same olive green. So it's a it's nice, but also still semi-casual. Um, With an eclectic bunch of outfits such as you and an eclectic bunch of personalities such as yourselves, you are joined by the Brown and Windgrove families at a pretty nice restaurant with a lovely view of the ocean. Um, And even if your family didn't show up in person. And even if seeing your family today wasn't exactly what you wanted, there's a sense of kinship and friendship here that I think you're all kind of grateful to have. And as you, (laughs) as you see David Griffin and Jason Mills from the occult club come wandering in with their robes underneath an arm and they both just look tired and it's like, Man, we've got to stop trying to summon demons. Well, shut up, man. It's how's the job. You at least know you're not alone. And that's kind of a win. So I think my dad owns this restaurant, so it's very likely. <laughs> and Get that is up to a private room. <laughs> it's all a front. It's all it's all a front for more insurance fraud. But and that is where we are going to wrap New Pantheon Aww. Academia tonight. Nice little warm moment on a kind of a nice little warm episode. Sorry for not a lot of action tonight, folks, but we got a lot That's of a warm episode this. with par- parental drama and child murder. <laughs> yeah, you know, my flavor. You got important plot pieces today. That lore. Yes. Very you got good. lore. Yes. Uh, and also, thanks to the chat for unlocking our little ghost friend in last week's episode. Kim was going to have a very different role had they not done that, but thanks to them, you actually got to talk to her. Nice. Thank yes. you. 
So uh, my name is Stephen Pope. You can find me online at Stephen J. Pope 22, except not on Twitter. I told transphobes to go to hell and I'm being punished for it. No regrets. Maybe, maybe we should at Twitch and be like, yo, give, give, uh, give Stephen his account back, y'all. I'm not going to tell you guys what to do, but I would appreciate that. <laughs> um, <laughs> you can also find me on TikTok at Stephen Pope 101. See me shit post and bake. It's basically all there is. And also, if you like my work at all here on Saving Throw, you can now buy something written by me on Drive Through RPG. I have recently published uh, Lost Entitlements along with my friend Chaz from the Story Told podcast. Uh, it's for Changing Lost Second Edition. It's five dollars, and it's very fun. So check that out if you are willing. Uh, Eric, where can they find you? Uh, why they can find me uh, returning soon-ish uh, on salt butts. Here, uh, yeah on on Tuesdays will be the return of Salt Bay. We got salt butts. A, we got a new new episodes, new characters. Going to be fun. We're not ready to tell you all what it is, but it's we're all very excited for it. That's coming one of these Tuesdays coming up soon. Uh, and uh, yeah, apart from that, you can always check me out. Mostly Eric on all the things, including Twitch, where I play a lot of video games. They all love to see it. Uh, Kelly, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me on any of the social media and on Twitch at Kelly Nugy, K-E-L-L-Y-N-U-G-E-E. -E. Um, what am I even doing right now? You got podcasts? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing some podcasts right now. You can check out uh, same day shipping the show where we geek out about real love and fake relationships, AKA ship everybody across all fandoms um and you can also check out teen creeps uh the podcast about ya pulp fiction from the 80s and 90s love it mix master aki where can they find you hi everybody you can find me over on twitter and instagram at mix genie in a bottle that's m x g i n i i n a b o t t l e my entire twitch schedule is available over on my personal twitch platform which is twitch.tv slash shidari aki s h i d a r e a k i and you should keep an eye on my social media uh especially this upcoming wednesday because something Ooh. very cool is being announced and i cannot wait to share it with you very uh, fun pretty stoked it's gonna be awesome and don't forget tomorrow is the return of clear skies rpg with the stream punk so uh we are back from our winter break tomorrow from 6 30 over on q times Ooh, star trek goodness you yep. nice add miko where can they find you i think my camera's about to turn off yeah there oh. it goes <laughs> yep uh, um, hi find mika in the void you can find me in the void where I have no signal. Um, you can find me on any uh, social media site at RIP Mika. Um, you can find me every Sunday on Saving Throw Show <laughs> during New Pantheon. And uh, I stream almost every single day on my Twitch. Right now we're playing through Jedi Fallen Order. So if you want to check that so out. So good. That's a good game. Star yeah. Wars Souls. Very cool. <laughs> And don't forget tomorrow here at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we have Dice X Machina, Dungeons and Dragons in the Land of Theros. It's Magic the Gathering meets Dungeons and Dragons, ran by Riley Silverman, who is a queen and we must stand. Okay, so make sure you check that out. She's really running a great game over there. Um, Thank you for everyone for being here tonight. And thank you, everyone in chat. Special shout out to Dom Zook and our friends over at Rookie Jet Games for Overarms, available at drivethroughrpg.com and rookiejetgames.com. So make sure you check those out. My name's, my name's Stephen Pope. I'll, I have to live with that every day. And I will see you next week. Bye.